Hello everyone, it's Miss Kara from Soul Connection. I am super excited for the competitive season and wanted to reach out to you uh, just to let you know what you can expect and help prepare you, yourself as well as your child um, to really set them up for success. So you will find on our website we have top 10 reminders for success and I really encourage you to review it and really follow it. Um, some of the common questions we usually get around competition is why do I have to be there an hour and a half early? And the real reason is um, mindset and also preparation so we know the kids have worked so hard this whole year getting to this point and if they are not mentally prepared and they come in late and frazzled and they didn't have time to warm up properly and execute as a group they're not going to do their very best on stage so we really want to set them up um, the other reason is sometimes competitions can run early and they do hold the right to run an hour in advance it is rare um, we have seen you know half an hour 45 minutes early and so it's really important that all of our um, students show up on time. Sometimes parents ask, you know, can I come into the waiting room and help my child? And the answer is simply no. Um, we actually have rules from the organizers uh, for taking care of the children, and we cannot have any parents backstage um, or in the rehearsal hall. It's their requirement, their rules. And it just really helps the children um, be able to focus and uh, listen to corrections and really get into the zone. Uh, some other questions we commonly get is the hair and makeup. So the hair and makeup is set for all of the groups. You will find an outline um, on our website as well. We're trying to keep it as simple as possible. There is no part. Um, the hair must be fully slicked and depending on the style and the age of the dancer, they may wear the hair piece if they choose. It's really easy for kids that have multiple numbers. So if they're doing a ballet, they will have their hair in a ballet bun and if they're doing a jazz, they just pop the hair piece on and um, they're ready to go. So it's really designed for simplicity. We do have hair pieces available for sale at the studio and you can also purchase them at dance stores um, if you choose to do that. Please make sure all of your child's uh, items are labeled and uh, prepared and organized. So if they're in multiple classes, it's great to have them lined up in the order that they're performing in. Um, with hangers, you make sure that your child knows where their tights are. Um, some of the most common mistakes that happen the day of are wrong tights, wrong shoes. So do a mental check the night before. Make sure the dance peg is packed. Um, make sure you have extra tights just in case one gets a, a tear. Um, she, your shoes are clean and ready to go. And you have extra hair, makeup, accessory parts like bobby pins, hair, um, hair nets, uh, gel, hairspray, anything that you may need. Um, there is no jewelry allowed on stage except for the rhinestone earrings. It looks super classy and clean. We don't want to have any extra nail polish on students. Um, if they do have tattoos or piercings, we do need them to cover up on those elements. And uh, bra straps must be tucked under. So it just helps the kids look and feel their very best. So we look forward to the competitive season. Parents, you're doing a tremendous job. We know this is a huge investment in your time, your energy, your money, your love, and we really want you to get the most out of it. So a couple more reminders about the actual competition day. So what will happen is you're going to be um, coming an hour and a half early. Your kid is going to be ready with hair, makeup, their uh, costume underneath with their tracksuit on top. They are ready to rock. They have already eaten. They are feeling good. And one of the teachers from Soul Connection will meet you in the front area. Um, we will be going back and forth from different classes. So if you come and you don't see someone right away, don't panic. Um, usually 10, 15 minute intervals at most, you will definitely see someone. And we may direct you right to the rehearsal hall in which you would drop your child off in the rehearsal hall. You will see some teachers and then you will proceed into the auditorium, get a seat, or you can hang out a little bit in the lobby before you watch your child dance. After they compete, um, different competitions have different rules, but you will have different sections. So when all the kids go back, they will go back on stage for adjudication. They will receive um, an award, a pin, or a medal, depending on the competition. After that, the teachers will take the kids from backstage area and bring you back out to the lobby. So, sorry, bring the children back into the lobby and that's where we want you to come meet your child. And um, then you can go help them pick up their extra materials or anything that they may have brought in, props, accessories, whatever. But our responsibility will be to go on stage with the kids. Um, after the competition, bring them back into the lobby for you to connect with your child. Um, so that's pick up, drop off. Also, we really encourage you to be connected on our Facebook page. So if any 
anything weird happens the day of and they change holding rooms or um, the holding room is weird to get to, so holding room is the rehearsal hall, um, we will actually post something on our Facebook page and it will be real time. Like, hey guys, remember when you come in, you're going to go through the main doors, turn right, follow the hallway. We'll give as much detail as possible. So we want you to feel calm. We want you to enjoy this experience and really being connected on the Facebook page will help tremendously. Um, if after you've read the 10, the top 10 tips for success and you've watched the hair and makeup video and um, you still have questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We want to help you. We want to support you. Our performances in the children's hospital and senior homes is our really great run through. So we, tr we treat this as a full dress rehearsal. So hair, makeup, costume, um, lots of energy. We're performing in front of lots of people and uh, we kind of get work out any kinks. We work out the nerves and the attendance is very important because this is our dress rehearsal for their competition. So please make sure you are showing up 30 minutes early for your performances. Um, for the seniors home and children's hospital, we ask that only immediate family members come. So no aunts, un uncles, cousins, grandparents, just siblings and parents. The reason is the venue has limited space and they really want this showcase to be for their residents. So we are so so privileged to bring some joy and some love into these communities and we need to respect um, their guidelines as well which is uh, limited people. When you do go into the performances we ask that all of our Soul Connection families so the parents and siblings are going to be watching from the back area so we let all the residents use the seats and if there's any extra seats then we offer them up to our guests. Um, so please be mindful of that. Um, some of the residents will be coming in wheelchairs, walkers, we just need to be very aware of the space that we're in and remember the goal which is to share some love and let these kids get some dance experience and also give back to the community. So it's a wonderful experience. Um, we will be taking some pictures and we're happy to share those with you. If you are taking any pictures please avoid flash photography and also ensure that you are getting pictures of none of the residents. Um, this is very important for the children's hospital as well that none of the children are photographed. Um, sometimes we get kids that are residents in the children's hospital asking for photos and at that time we get the parent consent and we do take pictures of our kids with the with the children um, from the hospital but we just want to be very respectful. Um, if you have not had an opportunity to donate we really encourage you to. Um, honestly the impact of the children's hospital is huge for not only the dancers but for you as parents and for the people that are in the hospital and uh, we never know people's life story so um, the gifts definitely are appreciated. Um, we give them to the hospital. They hand them out to the people that are in need. And we also collect gift cards for the teenagers and also care packages for parents. So something like a little journal, some Kleenex, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, granola bars, bottle of water is an amazing care package for a parent and we uh, would love to give some more and everything that we receive as a donation the studio will match and we always make a nice impact. So thank you in advance for contributing and making some time and space for that in your busy schedules. I know being um, a parent is super crazy and I appreciate everything that you're doing to share some some energy with everyone. So that's it for me. Um, any questions email me kara at soulconnection.ca. I look forward to seeing you in the performances and and the children's hospital and uh, the competitions. So be calm, be present, and enjoy. The kids have worked very hard. See you later.